can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle with a base 10 units, now let's draw an isosceles right triangle. And this segment right over here, this is 6 units. And on the top, this segment measures 3 units. Now let's color the overlapping region and let's call this as A. Now the question, what is the area of this triangle represented as A? Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this triangle represented as A. And in this question, even though we don't know this length, we can answer this question. So we don't need this 3 to answer this question. So now, to answer this, we want the, this area or the area of this triangle. We know the base. This is 6. And what we're going to do is to find the height of this triangle. And that's it. If we find the height, then we're done. And to find the height, what we're going to do is to use the given information. Now we know this is an isosceles right triangle. So this angle right over here is 45 degrees. And the other one is also 45 degrees for sure. So if we draw a square directly to this intersection, we have something like this. And take note, this is 45 and the other one is also 45 degrees. And from here, let's call the side of this square be equal to h because this is served as the height of this triangle. And we know all of this side is equivalent to h because this is a square. All sides are equal. And since we know this part, this segment measures 6 units. And this segment is h. So the remaining segment right over here is simply equivalent to 6 minus h. We will do the same thing. We know this base is 10 units. And this length is h. So the remaining length is 10 minus h. And from here, let's focus on this right triangle. Because we see another right triangle that is similar to this. And here's the right triangle that I've mentioned. Since they are similar, we will use the concept of similarity to find the value of this h. So we can say that 6 minus h over h is equivalent to h over 10 minus h. And we can also solve for the value of h. So first, let's cross multiply. We have 6 minus h times 10 minus h equals h squared. Simplify the left-hand side. We have 60 minus 16 h plus h squared equals h squared. Subtract h squared on both sides. We have 16 minus 16 h equals 0. And now, this equation simplifies to 16 h equals 60. Now, let's focus on this result. And to solve for h, divide both sides by 16. And 60 over 16 is equivalent to 15 over 4. And that is the value of h. So now, going back to our figure, we know this h. And that is all we need to find the area of this triangle. Because the area of this triangle, we can solve the area by using the formula 1 half times base times height. We know the base, this is 6. And we know the height, which is 15 over 4. Now simplify, 1 half times 6 is 3. And 3 times 15 over 4 will give us 45 over 4. And that is the area of this triangle. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of this region represented as A is equivalent to 45 over 4 square units. And as always, we are done.